a motorcycle escort today for an ambulance carrying a fellow Marine veteran from Maine Medical Center in Portland to the next chapter of his journey. When he came rolling out, we all clapped for him, gave him a, he was pretty excited to be outside getting and moving on to the next step of this whole process for him. Joshua Morin, a 45-year-old Marine veteran from Dalton, Mass, has been hospitalized since June 21st. He was riding with fellow members of the Jarheads Motorcycle Club on Route 2 in Randolph that day when a truck driven by 23-year-old Vladimir Zukovsky hit the group, killing seven. Morin suffered multiple fractures and underwent several surgeries. Some of the Jarhead family traveling with him today as he moves to Spalding Rehabilitation Center in Charlestown, Massachusetts. I wanted to ride right behind him so we could hear, hear that he had support and he wasn't alone. He's one of my brothers, you know, and we're there for each other. Joy Morin says they're glad to be closer to their home in Massachusetts. But, um, thank you from our family, from the Jarhead family, uh, everything that everyone's done for our fallen brothers and sisters and my husband Joshua. The Morins are suing the driver and the company he was working for, and their attorney says they may also sue the Massachusetts Registry of Motor Vehicles for not suspending the driver's license after an arrest in Connecticut in May for OUI. Friend Chris Crawford says his focus is on Josh, recounting a question he heard Josh ask his doctor. Realistically, if everything goes perfectly, will I be able to ride again? And the doctor said, if that's something you want to do, and he goes, I can't say it on TV, but he, he was pretty excited about what he said. <laughs> he was pretty excited. He can't wait to get on a back oh, yeah. on a bike. In Charlestown, Mass., Jennifer Crompton, WMUR News 9.